I've had so many questions about my turbans. Well, let's pretend that you had a bad hair day. Like I do many days. This is your solution. You go to your closet, and if you want, you go to the world of Leah Black, because I'm going to put some scars on there for you if you don't have them. But if you have any, you can take most any size. Like this one is about, what, three feet by three feet. It's just a lightweight cut. I'll show you one way I would tie this. This is what I would do if I was rushing out the door. I put my head over, I put this on here, and I wouldn't do it tight because this one doesn't have a lot of fabric. I would loosely do this one. Something probably like this and twist it a little. Bring it around to the side over here. Twist it, tuck it under here. And voila! Ta da! You want to see another one? Oh, let me see if there's anything else we could do with this one. You could probably do it another way. Oh, you could. You could go like this with it. You could do it in the center, and you could do it like this. How chic is this? And if you wanted, you could pull out a few little wispy bangs, if you have some. Do you like that? And if you like, you like height, you could double it over. Just get a little pin, put one little pin right there, and you'd have a whole nother look. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, another one, different style. This is a long one, and it's thicker, and it's got a grip to it. Now, these are not all silky. They have a little bit of a grip to them. This one even has a tassel on it. So this one, if you had a bad hair day, you're going to get a lot more volume out of them. This one, as you twist it around, is going to be bigger. You can wear it like this. You could twist it like a little tighter over the side here. You could pin it and get this kind of a look going. You could do your twisting starting at the side. So you go all the way over. Start your twisting at the side. Go all the way around. And Pin it here, or just keep going, and going, and going, and going, and going. And tuck this in a little better, and you have another whole look. What do you think about that one? And sometimes I pin them, and sometimes I don't. Ta-da! This one is about two feet by about 90 inches. I'd say it's like 20 to 30 and 24 to 30 inches wide and about 90 inches long. But there are all kinds of ways you could do this. Let me see what else I could come up with. Oh, I could start with it in the front. Like this. You see why I have a bad hair day? And then you could do it go to the back, flip it under. And then start breathing. Get around. Tie it and have yourself a fashion statement. Or knot it. Sometimes I knot it on my rings. And pen them like here and have a big fashion statement. Then I just get some hat pens. This one, if you wanted to come over with it and up the back, and then back around and then down, you can pull the tassel to the side here and pin this, and look at this. Chic, fabulous, spectacular! I love having bad hair day. So that's what you can do with the long ones. There's so many things you can do with these scarves. It's really about the fabric and the texture so that it grips. 
Now this is one of my favorites because this one is our mittens and it's really big. I don't even know. This is what, three feet by three, six, probably three feet by six feet. This one you can have fun with. Start in the center of your head and wrap it from every single angle, like this one here, get this one going here, pull it back on my head a little, I don't want to hide my pretty face, <laughs> and then start going around with it. This one's a different kind of a cashmere type blend, but none of these are silky or, or uh, shiny or silvery, they all have a grip to them. This one I think I wore in Bimini when I got a lot of comments. And then I went around the other side with it. And you can make this as tight or as loose of a wine as you want. So if you want a fatter one, you don't, tie it, don't wrap it so tight. And then this one, you now have two sides. And then you could tie it in the back like this. You could just tie it here. Or you can knot it up, just tuck it under, stick one pin in it, and voila! What do you think? You can pull it back on your head if you like more height. You can bring it down on the side if you like this kind of a volume. You can twist this around like this, make a big knot here, tuck this under, and then bring it back around. Let me twist it a little. Make yourself a knot and tie it here, or just come on back around with it. Tuck it under on one side, and make yourself a big fabulous knot on this side. And tuck it under. Put a couple of pins in it, and you're done. Yay! Leah and her scarves. This one I also, see I did this, remember I did this on both sides. And you could do it the other way as well. That would be, look how fabulous this looks if you just wrap it as a blouse. See if it starts, if your hair looks, you could go out the house like this, just wrap in a scarf, you know, over your blouse. It starts to sprinkle. You get a bad hair day. You just bend over. You say, excuse me, sir, while you're at this grocery store. Hold the carrots. I'll be right there. You make yourself a little thing. You can really twist it just about like any way you want it. Almost like a towel on your head in the bathroom when you've just washed your head. And then you just make sure you tuck all the ends in. And then... up with it like this, tie it down on the back, make yourself a little bit of a poof here, put a pin in it, pin it here, and you've got another look, keep going with it around the head, like we started, except we did this, remember we did this one on one side instead of two, go all the way around with it, tuck the ends in really good, come around, and you've got This look, pull out your bangs, put a little pin right here, leave this hanging, or twist it and knot it up, and a big poof here. You're done. Voila! Welcome to the No More Bad Hair Days Solution by Leah Black at the World of Leah Black.